Uh, next up on my Steam library, we've got Hacknet. Hacknet is a text-based hacking simulation, really, is the best way to describe it. It's uh, very much like a really old-fashioned text-based adventure game with there's some mouse input. I mean, you can do a fair bit with the mouse and some bits you do need to do with the mouse. Uh, but generally, you're doing most of it by typing in your hacking commands, basically. It's uh, as if you're sitting at a DOS window or a terminal, the uh, a Unix window, something like that. And you're basically cracking, breaking into other computers by executing the commands for all the different hacking programs you have at your disposal. Uh, an, an example of how you can use the mouse or the keyboard is when you connect into another computer it shows up as like a map of nodes at the bottom of your screen and you can either click on the node to connect to that computer or you can type in connect and its IP address. Now some things are obviously quicker to do with the mouse like clicking on those nodes and I tended to do that when I'm connecting to a computer but things like executing that the commands for the hacking programs you have to use to actually break into the computer you can only do that via the via the console so you have to type those and it does really give you a feeling that you're actually hacking computers it's, it's really uh, it's really immersive I must say uh, the story's really good you start off receiving an email from uh, an unknown hacker who says if you're reading this he must be dead and he takes you through a little tutorial and then you end up being passed on to a, a small hacking group where you sort of cut your teeth learning how to hack the different computers and how to delve around in them once you're inside to find the juicy tidbits of information that you're after. And then and the story progresses from there. It's a, a really decent story. Uh, I've got to say, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I thought it was one of the best games I've played for a long, long time. It's got a really nice soundtrack, nice sort of ambient music that plays while you're uh, going about your hacking. Uh, that really thumps up when things happen in in the game. When like a the ha a computer you're hacking starts tracing you back, the music dum 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 thumps up. And of course, you could turn that off and just play your own soundtrack as well. Um, I recommend some synthesizer electronic music. Uh, like uh, Vangelis or Jean-Michel Jarre, something like that. Um, I had a nice playlist on Spotify of retro uh, 80s gaming music that I was listening to while I was playing it. So I, I can't recommend it enough. I found it thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable, really immersive, a really good story that, 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 that does tug at the old heartstrings at the end, I've got to say. It's uh, asking price is 6 .99. It's well worth that. If you ever see it on sale, you can snap it up for anything less. Uh, there is some DLC for it as well that came out later uh, that I haven't bought, but I should think I will when I get round to going back to it, getting some more DLC. It's um, it's it's a one-man show, really. It's made by one guy over about two and a half years. This is kind of information you get at, once you've beaten the game. You get like an email from the creator that's asking you what you, you thought of it. And uh, as, a, as a simple game goes, it just shows you what, you what a game designer can do when they've got a great idea and they execute it really well. I mean, I'm seriously saying this is better than a host of AAA multi-million dollar titles that have come out over the last few years. This is better than all the last recent Assassin's Creed games. It's better than all the recent Far Cry games. It's better than, you know, a host of... Uh, EA and Ubisoft and Activision multi-million dollar titles so check out Hacknet uh, if you're into anything like if you like the idea of hacking and you like the idea of a nice sort of cyberpunk story then definitely check it out it's really really good